what is a fallow year and is it needed? That's the topic of our Farm Basics today. We love growing crops. In fact, we'd like to grow a crop every year and a couple of different crops in the year if we can. However, in some areas of the country, it's really dry and farmers think, well, I may only have enough moisture in two years worth of precipitation to grow one crop. All right, we're from the state of South Dakota. And when I was a very young agronomist, I would go out what we call West River, so that's west of the Missouri River. And I would run into a lot of farmers who were doing what they called chem fallow. So that meant that they were going to spray a chemical out there in their fallow year uh, in order to kill all the weeds and keep everything basically black, keep that ground black, nothing growing. So no moisture was getting used up and then they would raise a crop the following year. Well, since then, a lot of those same farmers have switched to no-till in their operations and they found they're able to raise a crop every year. So again, the purpose of this fallow year is to have nothing growing so moisture is conserved for the following year. Now there could be some other benefits too, maybe uh, fewer weeds or insects or diseases, but it's mainly about moisture savings. Yeah, there are a lot of interesting things when you think about that fallow year, especially as we've seen cover crops becoming more important across the country and more popular, growers are really thinking, well, I need to have something living in my field all the time so the microorganisms in the soil have a home. Well, in a fallow year, if you're trying to keep it black and you're trying to kill yep. everything out there, what is the impact on soil health long term? Well, it's unknown. I haven't seen any studies on this, but it sure raises a lot of curiosity with farmers who think, boy, I'm a little nervous about that. I think I'd prefer to have something growing if possible. Yeah, you'd have to be careful about what crop you're going to raise the following year. So if you have a fallow year, keep everything black or just nothing growing out there, you do not want to raise corn the next year. It's not going to turn out real good for you. I mentioned chem fallow earlier. Prior to herbicides being used, there was a lot of tillage. Well, when you till, you release all kinds of moisture from the soil, so that somewhat defeats the purpose of having a fallow year. So that's the reason why very little tillage is now done in those fallow years. Well, there's always discussion about fallow years in dry areas around the world. Do I need an extra year where nothing grows in my field to try to conserve moisture so I can raise a good crop next year? In some cases, as Brian mentioned, it's been replaced by modern farming practices like no-till that help conserve moisture as well, well yeah but as we say modern farming practices your modern farming practice could still be fallow so it all depends on the situation and we're not saying oh you have to do a fallow year you shouldn't do a fallow year it's totally a personal choice on what you decide to do it's just that most of the fallow years have been replaced because of practices like no-till cover crops and things like that well one thing that you still have to do whether you're in a fallow year or not is control our weed of the week We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.